Ladies and gents, get ready to chill here on the Frankie and Rose Show. Hosted by that Hollywood insider bringing news, our guy Frankie. And a diva that's also oh fabulous, Rochelle. When it comes to the Frankie and Rose Show, get ready for love, life, and entertainment as we get ready to chill and bring you a little candid conversation with relationships, lifestyle, entertainment, and exclusive interviews. So it's time to get this party started on the Frankie and Rose Show. Welcome to the Frankie and Rose Show. It's me, your guy Frankie, getting ready to take you inside a little love, life, and entertainment on this episode. Now you know how we do it here each week. Focusing on things that are going on in the world of entertainment, sports, music, love, and life. We got it all covered here. And today, as you can see, I'm not in the studio, but out in Central Cali. Right now, I'm broadcasting live from Romaine Park as we're getting ready to go into a free basketball camp provided by the Memphis Grizzlies' own Quincy Pondexter. That's right, he's getting ready to give back to the community with his foundation and offer some free lessons here today, along with the Fresno Griffins, a local basketball team here with professional basketball athletes as well. So we've got a lot coming for you tonight. So stay tuned for more right here on the Frankie and Rose Show. on the beat. Gents, get ready to chill here on the Frankie and Rose Show. Hosted by that Hollywood insider bringing news, our guy Frankie. And a diva that's oh so fabulous, Rochelle. Bringing you a dose of love, life, and entertainment. Catch the Frankie and Rose Show Friday nights at 9 p.m. on Comcast 93 or AT&T 99 here on CMAC. Also replaying Mondays and Wednesdays at the same time. Let me see that jersey. Let me see that jersey, guys. Who's the jerseys got? What you got? What you got? What you got there? Show the man the jersey. Put them on. Put them on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see your style in it one time. That's right. That's right. Good job, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the Frankie and Rose Show. We're still here broadcasting live at Romaine Park. And right now, I've got a sergeant, a general of these basketball courts to the left of me. Why don't you introduce yourself to the team? My name is Billy Hicks, ex-Fresno basketball player. I work for the city of Fresno, ex-ABA basketball player. And we run a lead. We run a lead over here Monday through Friday from 6 to 8. So if anybody out there wants to come over here and get in the lead with some teams, 
feel free to come out and join us. Now, Mr. Hicks, you've been in the community for a very long time, and a lot of people miss the fact of what sports does for our young people to keep them out of some of the mischief that sometimes the news teams glorify. Here, we're here to, of course, build in the community and put back into the community. How important is it for you just to be able to be, maybe not a, a, a lead voice in their environment, but at least to be able to be a, a role model for the youth? And that's mainly what we need, a role model for the youth, because the main thing so much is to have them to burn off this energy instead of going out there in these streets at night and burning off that energy. So if they can burn off that energy playing basketball in school, then we'll have a better community. And how do these games impact the community, not just for the youth on the court, but those that come to spectate? Well, those young kids, they grew up and be wanting to be basketball players, but the main thing I tell them, get your education, son, before you get out here on this court. Because if you don't learn in the classroom, you can't learn on this court. Now, I know you've seen many successful young men and women come through this court, but I know you've also probably seen your share of some tough stories. And there might be somebody out there in the audience thinking, I can't do that. I need to stay doing what I'm doing, maybe keep hustling, staying in trouble. What words of encouragement would you give them to get them on track? You can do anything you want to do. So don't give me that where you were raised without a dad because I was raised without a dad. I was raised in the ghettos. I lived in Fink White area 25 years. And the thing is, I wanted to get out of that environment. So you can do it. If you need a role model, come down here. I'll talk to you. I'll encourage you. I'll help, I'll help you try to get on the right track. So. All right, guys. Quincy Pondexter Basketball Camp. You're going to see more from us to here today. Stay tuned right here on the Frankie and Rowe Show. It's not just lacking it up, watching. In order to be a good shooter, you got to have good form. You got to have good technique. You got to understand all the basics in becoming a good shooter. Once you develop the technique and the form, then it's all about repetitions. Shooting baskets after baskets after baskets after baskets. How many of you guys practice your shots? How many shots you shoot a day? Not enough? Good answer. How many shots you shoot a day? 30 shots a day? In order to be a good shooter, you got to take lots and lots of shots. I'm talking hundreds and thousands a day for years. It takes practice, but it's never too late. If you guys want to be good shooters, there's always time. But stays down. When I yell shot, you guys come up and shoot. Ready? Let's keep up. Shot. Good. Ready? Ready. Ice cream up. You gotta see it up. Get the ice cream up. Shot. Ready. Ready. Ice cream up. Shot. Alright, good deal. This is what we're gonna do. What up everybody? It's your man Frankie here from the Frankie and Rose Show and we're still broadcasting live with some of the youth from the Quincy Pondexter basketball camp. Now fellas, talk to us. Introduce yourselves first. I'm Pierce from Cooper Academy. I'm Christian from Cooper Academy. I'm Steven from Cooper Academy. Now, I see you guys got the jerseys on. You got skills? Introduce yourselves. What positions are you trying to play? I'm trying to play point guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay. I want to play small forward for the Indiana Pacers. I want to play small forward for Chicago Bulls. Okay. So what made you guys want to come out to today's camp? to uh, let my skills develop. To show off my skills and wait on everyone. <laughs> Get better at my skills. Okay. And now, of course, it wouldn't be basketball if you didn't tell me who was your favorite basketball player and why. LeBron James, because he's a beast. Two-time MVP. I mean, four-time MVP. You know, Paul George, because he's from Fresno. No, and he's like a beast. He's the best. Michael Jordan, he's inspiring. Oh, really? Hey, guys, you're locked right here. Quincy Pondexter Basketball Camp. Your man, Frankie, chilling in the community. Guys, say what's up, Fresno. What's up, Fresno? What's up, Fresno? Up, Fresno? We'll be right back. How you guys doing this morning? Good. Yeah. Right. I was telling everybody else, I hope y'all brought y'all jumping. 
I don't want to win all the shooting games, all right? I don't want you guys doing all the push-ups. Right? Y'all better beat me. You gonna beat me? Wait. Wait. We have a, a summer league basketball program that's occurring for five weeks out here this summer at Romaine Park. Uh, this is with the City of Fresno Parks Department. And as a part of the summer league, we wanted to do a summer camp and a unique opportunity came together where we were able to uh, partner with the Fresno Giffins, the local ABA basketball team. And they had a relationship and a partnership with uh, Quincy Pondexter and the Pondexter family. So it was kind of a, a, a last minute unique opportunity to be able to blend all these different things together, get a lot of our neighborhood and community kids uh, an opportunity to uh, to get some really good coaching from Will Hooker and uh, the Fresno Giffins, but also uh, a chance to be able to meet a rising NBA star who's uh, from their own backyard, played right down the street over at San Joaquin Memorial. Uh, very unique opportunity. Uh, we're very blessed to have this and really excited for uh, the Romaine community. Romaine Park is uh, located on uh, first between Belmont and Olive, and uh, we're really focused uh, on the development of youth and the development of the community. Uh, we had a grant here a couple years ago from Building Healthy Communities that uh, enabled us to build a, uh, a walking uh, a walking path around the park. We've been able to make investments in this basketball court that's uh, just to my left here. We transitioned it from an old tennis court that wasn't being utilized in the community uh, to a basketball volleyball combination court. Now this is one of the hot uh, entities in the community. We have a gymnasium here where we op operate uh, indoor basketball leagues when the when the heat's getting out here. We also just finished up a, a summer camp for youth, which was sponsored by FUN, Fresno United Neighborhoods. It was a STEM camp that stands for science, technology, engineering, and math and uh, brought a lot of kids through that camp, a uh, uh, really exciting opportunity. We've got a swimming pool here, obviously in Fresno, with the heat and the potential dangers around with the canals, lakes, and rivers. We were able to um, provide swimming this, uh, this summer through a grant uh, with Kaiser Foundation. So uh, also our green space, we've got soccer, we've got a lot of uh, traditional uh, Hmong sports like uh, Qatar that are played out here. Um, Romaine is a uh, very exciting urban inner city park that uh, I think is really helping uh, to transition uh, and, and provide a lot of support for a really great community. The Parks Department is uh, is a core service to the community and uh, we, we hire staff that's uh, reflective of the community, people that can be mentors and role models and when you get a kid that comes up to you maybe has a dilemma in school or a, a, an issue that they're sort of working on, our staff's there to provide uh, uh, mentoring, guidance and uh, obviously the positive aspects of the programming that we off offer here that enable the youth to get engaged in something, feel like a part of a team, part of a family, and uh, really change their self-esteem, get them going in the right direction to end up being uh, the successful person that they uh, were meant to be. Ladies and gents, get ready to chill here on the Frankie and Roll Show. Hosted by that Hollywood insider bringing news, our guy Frankie. Frankie. And a diva that's also oh fabulous, Rochelle. <laughs> Bringing you a dose of love, life, and entertainment. Catch the Frankie and Rose Show Friday nights at 9 p.m. on Comcast 93 or AT&T 99 here on CMAC. Also replaying Mondays and Wednesdays at the same time. Hey guys, welcome back to the Frankie and Rose Show, showcasing love, life, and entertainment. And I hope you've been enjoying the show up until this point with the youth, Quincy. And of course, now we're bringing you some of Quincy's team. I have Julie to the right of me. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Oh, it's hot, but an amazing day. The kids are loading up on Gatorade and water, and that's a great thing. But talk to us about some of the things that went into promoting today's event. Well, I tell you what, we have a lot of going into today's event. We we worked with the Parks Department and at the city. They said they wanted to have a great event here, and they so we did that. We put out a flyer just only a week ago, and look how many kids are here. So next year, we'll do it even bigger. Quincy is committed to coming here every year to do this camp as long as we can continue to offer it for free to the, to the community. So we're, we're dedicated to doing it. Now, you've been enjoying some of these youthful faces just as much as I have. Talk to us about how important it is to give back to the community and to the youth. It's why we're here. Uh, the whole team, you know, I own the Fresno Griffins and, and we'll be bringing you some basketball all through the season. But uh, the, the point of it is, is to keep doing things like this for the kids so that they know they have opportunities, so that they can be out, be active, be healthy. 
and be able to understand how important it is that, that we take care of each other. Now, as my mama used to say, idle hands can be the work of the devil. Keeping our kids busy in the community, why is that important for you? You know, it's the only way to make sure that they understand there are people who care and that there are better things to do. No matter what they are, even if they just pick up a ball all by themselves, now they know how, the coach has given them some great tips, they can come out and practice their own shot, they don't have to have somebody to help them with that, but now they know they've got a place and they know they have someone who cares and so they'll do better. Now, talk to us about your team and what the community can expect from the team. Well, the team is actually great, and I'm, I'm very honored to have brought Will Hooker back to Fresno to be our head coach. He's, he's a phenomenal guy. He's played in Fresno for a long time. Everybody knows and respects him. So we're very excited about that. But not only is he a great basketball player, but he's a great member of the community. And he has already taught these guys, as you can see, they're out here helping with the camp. Um, giving back is the most important thing we can do. It doesn't matter what station you are in life or, or where you end up because obviously we're expecting all these guys to move on to bigger and better things, um, but to know always to, to give back. The team is actually great. Last year we were number ranked number eight at one point out of 90 teams in the country. So they're, they're very good. Uh, I'm very excited to be bringing them back. We're going to have our own gym this year. It's going to be in West Fresno at, at California and Elm. So we're going to bring as many games there as possible for people to come out and enjoy. We're going to have tournaments. Um, the guys come from all over the country. We have some guys here from, from Alabama, from Detroit, from Chicago, from Texas, Georgia. Um, but they've all come to Fresno to play basketball because they know that there's a great talent in Fresno and they can get developed here and they can uh, get where they want to be. Okay. Now, if people want to get involved in your organization or find out more about your team, how can they get involved? Well, right now the easiest way is our Facebook page because our, our website hasn't been published yet. But Fres f go to Facebook and friend the Fresno Griffins. We're on there. We post everything everything there. We, we posted the exhibition game last night, camp today. Uh, we have a tournament coming up next week. We have um, more tryouts coming up on, on August 10th. Anybody that wants to come try out for the team, just uh, friend us on Facebook. Talk to me about it. Uh, we ha so we're doing a lot of things, and if you're on Facebook right now, you can see pretty much everything we're doing. All right. Hey, guys, we're locked right here on the Frankie and Rose Show. Stay tuned for more love, life, entertainment, and giving back to the community. Hey, stay. If you have water, Gatorade, and you want to finish it, you can finish it. You want to save it. You got to put it against the fence. Where you go, make sure the lid's on it or you don't spill it. You have to leave you with your drinks on the fence, and then come right back. My dad is tall as you. Really? I know he is. You know my dad. Yeah, I know your dad. Thirsty too. Yeah, really? It's hot out here. Make sure you guys drink a lot of liquids today. A lot of water, a lot of Gatorade. It's hot. <laughs> I got close to it. of fun, uh, enjoy it with your friends and uh, put in a lot of hard work. Make sure you listen to all your coaches and uh, just have fun. Basketball is a game of fun. It's, it's why I love it so much and uh, if you put a lot of hard work and dedication into it, uh, it'll pay off. And uh, I'm glad you guys are all here and um, let's go out and hoop. Let's go. Let's give Quincy a three banger on three. One, two, three. Two banger on two. One, two. One bang girl, one. Good job, guys. Hey, think about one. Turn your lines around with two lines. Two lines. Two lines. I'll face this way, two lines. This group's the. Hey, hey, hey. 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 H
You're locked right here on the Frankie and Rose Show. It's your man Frankie here, still hanging out at the Quincy Pondexter basketball camp, having an amazing time with the youth. And, of course, to the left of me, I got the man of the hour. How are you doing, Quincy? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Ah, oh, man, it's hot, but you know what? We're going to make it through, right? Uh, yeah, we got to make it through. It's not like the first time we out here in the sun. <laughs> right, right. Now, talk to us about today's camp and, and really what was the vision behind you putting on today's camp? Uh, you know, I want to give back to the community. Uh, I'm from Fresno, and, and without so many people opening gyms, opening up parks, and giving me opportunity to play basketball, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, uh, you know, I want to give back, and I didn't want to charge anybody. I want this to be free. Um, I want to give back from my heart, and uh, I don't want nothing in return. I just want kids to have a good time playing basketball. Okay. Now, speaking of seeing some of these youth, talk to us about your young days here in Fresno and some of your idols, some of the people that helped to make you the man that you are today. Uh, you know, I had so many idols. It started with my dad and my uncle. Um, you know, filling their shoes and, and uh, following their footsteps was pretty big. Um, you know, they, they're legends around here for basketball and so uh, yeah, I really idolize them. And, and there's so many gyms and parks and stuff that, that really opened up their, their gyms to me. Uh, I, I played here, I played Frank H, I played Central High School, I played all over the city. Wherever I could get run at, I was, I was there. So. Um, you know, I love this game and it's really helped me out a lot. Okay. Now, talking about today's camp, what went into the preparation? I know you guys just came here, we got a chance to talk with Julie as well. What was some of the ground working or some of the groundwork that you guys laid to get this going here, working with the city and making it important to actually get the city involved? Yeah, uh, getting the city involved just, uh, means a lot. You know that, know that they have your back in whatever projects you want to do, especially going on in the future. This is just a stepping stone. This is the first year that we were really doing something and uh, going forward, we're, we're looking forward to doing a lot more things, having more, a uh, few more camps in the summertime, uh, uh, not just basketball, it's a, to venture out on other avenues. And uh, I just want to bring the city closer together. Uh, if that means through basketball, so be it. So uh, that's my goal right now. Okay. Now, many kids, they see you on TV. They yeah. see the NBA stars, and they think, man, I want to get there one day. Yeah. Talk to us not about what's on the court, but how much work goes in behind the scenes. There's so much work that goes on behind the scenes. Uh, I, I think it's maybe even more than goes on on the court. You, you have to be hard work and dedicated um, to make it to the league. Um, you have to have so much skill. Um, but at the same time, you, you have to get good grades. You have to have a clean cut image. You have to do so many things off the court that, that help you balance your game. Uh, and th there's so many distractions that can lead you away from it. But um, I'm so blessed to have a, the family I'm coming from. And um, they, they really help guide me through the good and, and the bad in life and, and keep me away from the gangs and stuff like that. They, they did a great job with all that. Now, recently in, in media, whether it's the NFL or whatever the case may be, now we're starting to see teams really focusing more not just on talent, but your lifestyle. Yeah. Why is it important for a young man or a young woman behind that camera to be involved, focused, and staying away from trouble? Uh, it's very it's very important because uh, it, it translates. Uh, whatever you do off the court or off the field is going to translate to on the field. Uh, it, you, if you're getting in trouble off, how, how the team is going to trust you to with millions of dollars? Uh, um, you see so many guys getting in trouble nowadays, and it's sad to see it. But at um, the same time, they're, they're trying to clean up that, that perception that, that athletes aren't good people. You, you have to be a, a great person. You have to be able uh, to give back to the community. You have to be a smart person uh, to handle so much responsibility is playing professional athletics. And finally, right now I'm sure there's somebody that's watching this program that's having a hard time. I mean, we're, we're in a down economy, people are struggling, and they may feel like giving up. What words of encouragement would you give them? Never give up. Never give up, man. Um, you know, I didn't grow up in the, the best uh, finances. Uh, I, I wasn't a rich kid by any means. Uh, we we're really poor at a lot of times. And uh, you know, I just fought through it. And you know, I, I didn't go down the wrong path. I, I just wanted to stay down the straight and narrow path, get 
the best grades I possibly could and, and use this game of basketball as my getaway. And uh, I, I think that's what a lot of kids have to do, use athletics, use school, use musicians, and use all that stuff as getaways instead of falling into many of the traps out there. Okay. And also, if people want to follow you, do you Facebook, do you tweet? I have Facebook, I have Twitter, uh, I have Instagram, I have all that. So follow me wherever you can. All right. Hey, guys, you're locked right here at Quincy Pondexter's Basketball Camp. The man himself in the flesh in Fresno, California. Your man Frankie will be back with more right here on the Frankie and Rose Show. LeBron James, <laughs> Quincy Pondexter. Ladies and gents, get ready to chill here on the Frankie and Roll Show. Hosted by that Hollywood insider bringing news, our guy Frankie. And a diva that's also fabulous, Rochelle. Bringing you a dose of love, life, and entertainment. Catch the Frankie and Roll Show Friday nights at 9 p.m. on Comcast 93 or AT&T 99 here on CMAC. Also replaying Mondays and Wednesdays at the same time. Daddy's on the beat. It's time to wrap this bad boy up. We've had an amazing time here at the Quincy Bondexter basketball camp. I do want to send a big shout out to Quincy and also thank those fellas from the Fresno Griffins that took time out today from the camp to get on camera and talk about their dreams, aspirations, and just them pouring back into the community here. Now, as for us, we air every Friday night at 9 p.m. on Comcast 93 or AT&T U-verse 99. You can also check us out replaying on Monday and Wednesday nights at the same time. Now, if you don't have access to AT&T or Comcast, you can catch us online at FrankieRoshow.com. That information is right there on the screen, and you can catch up with us there. Or, if you'd like for us to come out to your next event, whether it's sports, entertainment, drama, acting, whatever the case may be, you're seeing the number there on the screen to reach out to us to get us plugged in on your next event. As for me, I'm getting ready to hit the streets again. I'll see you guys next week. But before I go, as always, stay strong, keep the faith, and be encouraged. This is your guy, Frankie, signing out. Good night, and God bless. Yeah.